Say happy motorcycle day. Happy motorcycle day. <laughs> Good job, baby. Happy National Motorcycle Day. I'm super excited. One, I've just, I've been longing to ride my Sportster for so long. <laughs> Literally months, guys. Months. And I'm finally getting a chance to do it today. I feel super out of my element. Like everything is complete 360 from the Pan America. Like I don't have cruise control. I have forward controls. My controls are <laughs> all different. Even like the grips, I have wider um, memory foam grips on my Sportster. It's just a whole different ball game. But I am uh, loving it because it bringing me back to last year and just how much I rode this bike for so long but I'm getting off topic here <laughs> I'm bugging up as well so it is National Motorcycle Day and I partnered with Dairyland Insurance for today and if for those that don't know who Dairyland Insurance is, they're actually a auto and motorcycle insurance company that are based here in Wisconsin. And they have been doing business for probably about 60 some years now. But when they reached out to me, it was actually last year during 2020 timeframe. And we just decided it's probably best if we hold off. So we waited until this year and it couldn't have been like more perfect timing and best weather right now but I am headed up to Wapaka so when they did and created this National Motorcycle Day back in I think 2016 they wanted to promote the like sharing the good sharing it within your local community and then just also enjoying you know the freedom that you have when you are riding so for me, I'm like, this was a no-brainer. I'm headed to Wapaka, and we are going up to visit the Wisconsin Veterans Home of King. And it just feels full circle because most of you know my husband is military, and I, what better way to give back to men and women who have served in our armed forces. And for me, I'm like, yes, done, let's do this. So taking the hour drive up there through these beautiful backcountry roads right now and we are going to help plant a tree on the grounds there and then also give some of like yard games outdoor games for them to enjoy this summer then after we finish up there we are headed back down to the Fox Valley area in Oshkosh to provide some lunch to the local firefighters that are in the Oshkosh area. So for me, I'm like, oh, this is a great and beautiful day to be able to do something like this and to partner with Dairyland Insurance and have it feel local, local to the community, giving back in ways that I can, but also that they can. It's, it's perfect and it's totally the Midwestern way of doing things. <laughs> I am going to enjoy this little scoot up to Wapaka. I have to be cautious of my gas tank now that I realize I'm not on the Pan America and I can't go 250 miles <laughs> to a tank anymore. But I am just loving being back on the Sportster. I'm sure you guys love seeing this content back in again. But I will see you guys up in Wapaka. This is pretty. Oh, I've missed riding in Wisconsin, <laughs> especially in the summer. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you guys too. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, Brownie was actually the boyhood dog of a, uh, of a, of a boy named Oren Kendrick uh, who lived here in the area. And uh, uh, Brownie went off to serve in World War II 
served in the Pacific Theater as a sentry dog, where he lost an eye in 1944 and was sent back, and basically became the mascot and uh, best friend of the Veterans Home. And in 1949, he was killed uh, in a uh, collision with a car uh, and was buried with full honors here in our cemetery. So we're the only one of the state cemeteries that has a Medal of Honor recipient and a dog. Just finished up our first stop. We planted a tree. <laughs> I say we, but pretty much I planted a tree, which is super cool to have them have a permanent place on the grounds. It's kind of nice to put a little bit of my touch on the veterans home ground and then um, delivered multiple boxes. I think there was like 12 boxes full of yard games for the residents that are there. Unfortunately, I didn't really get a chance to connect and talk with them just because of safety precautions with COVID. Kind of had to um, stay, <laughs> stay to ourselves, which is unfortunate, but I'm glad I'm able to provide some something for them to be able to enjoy the rest of the summer with. So I have about 45 minutes, almost an hour drive down to Oshkosh and we're headed to the fire station there to provide lunch to the local firemen and firewomen. <laughs> so let's figure out where we're going. Hope they brought their appetite. <laughs> I know they have a food truck ready to go for them, so super cool. Dairyland Insurance pulling out all the stops. Okay, hi guys. <laughs> a lot of you right now just finished up at the fire department the crew there is fantastic it was super cool to see all the different areas coming together just finish up the last behind the scenes <laughs> videos it's a blast riding and getting like video coverage even though I know you have to go like multiple times and multiple tries it's still super fun to do but I had an absolute blast I felt really grateful for what I'm doing so it was myself and actually Marcus Luttrell I'm not sure if you guys are familiar familiar with him or not but he is the lone survivor <laughs> so he's down in his home city of Houston down in Texas promoting some National Motorcycle Day stuff down there and I'm here in Wisconsin doing just that as well. I really feel like this type of work and what they want to promote and doing this for the motorcycle community really says a lot for the brand and I only hope it can grow year after year. That is something that I would like to see and I'm going to keep promoting for years to come. So very, very thankful for Dairyland Insurance for thinking of me and reaching out and taking a chance on me to help promote what they want to see this National Motorcycle Day become. I'm, <laughs> it's really cool. Really, 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 really cool. <laughs> so I am going to sign off for today's video hopefully you enjoyed the content a little bit of the behind the scenes my interactions with the communities here in Wisconsin thank you again to Dairyland Insurance if you want to know any more about the business I'll put a link in the description and a little bit more about National Motorcycle Day and the history behind it as well you get a chance to chance to read all right, see you guys later.